imagine how much we care about each and every one of you. Thank you so much. That was the last birthday for my dad, Leonard Nimoy. I used to major in career and minor in family, and now I've turned it around. Being head of the family, I think it really was his greatest role. Dad and I had a great relationship. We were very close. He was basically a superhero. I never thought anything could really hurt the guy. We all started to realize something is really wrong. I got a phone call from Dad saying, don't be alarmed, don't be scared. That exposure by a paparazzi taking his picture in a wheelchair with his oxygen, Leonard was outed. People started calling me going, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, to hear about your grandfather. He just emailed me and said, everything's fine, I have COPD. That's the first time I ever heard those letters. About 30 million people in the United States have it. It'll be the third leading cause of death worldwide very soon. I didn't know that people can actually die of COPD. Leonard had pretty severe COPD. He was working, even at rest, to breathe. Leonard was a very private person. There was the father, husband, grandfather, and there was the Leonard Nimoy actor, celebrity, director. He kept the two very separate. I said, this is a golden opportunity. You have to own it. You can't be ashamed when you have physical challenges. It helps to give people courage to face it. I quit a long time ago. Why is this happening to me? I damaged uh, lung cells many years ago, and then as age begins to damage lung cells as well, you begin to feel it. It takes a lot of courage to go up and admit that you're sick. It was a relief to have a name put to what he had. I wasn't scared, because I still had this hope. I have always felt that Dad would always be here with us.